So this is the plastic ceiling which is going up. So what you want to do is this works out. So this side here is 10 mil. Do you know what I mean? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this lip off from this side here. Then I'm going to put it against that wall. And then when we get to that side, it's going to be the same size panel. It's going to look beautiful. We've got a bit of trickiness here, but that is not a problem. We just go around it. This is very easy stuff to put up. So for this side here, we'll glue it all the way along that lip. Oh, and then, you. thank you. And then on this side, we'll use little screws and on this joist so I put up, we're going to pin it. Now it looks a bit big here, but because that wall dips in there and we haven't filled it, it's all planned. Do you know what I mean? It is just planned. It's like a plan of action. So the idea of it, get that down, get that up. Like so, like so. But to be honest, oh, we've had to get an electrician in to test Kel, because I think he's been broke. <laughs> I think he's been broke. She says I'm disturbing the Netflix. I've just told her to watch uh, the following. The following's really, really good. So what I've done is I've cut 20 mil off this just to make it equal. Then clear silicone right along there. And then what we have to do is Can you see there? So when we get it up, what you gotta remember is you get it in. Chamfer it in. Always start with the middle screwing it up. Not bad that. Gap's not too big there, is it? Might have got some clear there. Yeah. 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 Make sure you don't leave too much of a gap because the tile won't cover it. Not too much. Is it more than ten mil? I'd say yeah. But it's not going to go in the mark of this. Because of what? On angle, isn't it? It'll go back to the wall, but that's far as it can go. Get that, get that. Get that. Make sure you push it in in the centre. Screw that screw flat. And then work your way that way or that way. Otherwise, if you screw it from that side, chances are you're not going to fill the gap in. So start from the centre and then you can bend the ends in. Otherwise they don't fit. Like that. Otherwise it don't fit, and then you're in trouble. These screws are a bit big what I'm using as well. But uh, you want, really want 16s <coughs> for this. We're using 25 skull and you jump down there. Get a one. We're using 25 because I ain't got no 16s. So, They're better. Make sure you push it in. Make sure that's flush all the way down. Have a look before you go on to your next piece. If it looks beautiful, then you carry on to your next piece. And then the ceiling's on. Looks good. Cut some ice. Just falls just right. Just right. 
Beautiful. So it's all coming there now. It's all coming together. That there is another issue. I'm gonna I'm gonna do like a dressage. Do you know what I mean? Like a dressage. <laughs> so, so we're gonna do like a dressage. It's gonna be beautiful. We just need a fit. Yeah, them horses. Yeah. Where they trot. Chee chee chee. Yeah. Sometimes you have to get ready for my lingo. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes my lingo is just like second to none. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like my videos and share my videos. Bish bash bosh, thank you. Right then, so we are getting the shower tray into this gap here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut this floor up here. We're gonna set the circular saw up to the depth. This is how you know you're not cutting through anything. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the center of that joist just off center so we miss all the nails. Then we're going to take the floor up so we can put the floor back down neatly. Then we're going to knock an hole, see there? We're going to knock an hole right at the bottom. Through the wall. For the new waste for the shower. Now the shower waste is, I never ever use a flex, ever. Ever use a flex. No matter how hard it is, this is going to be hard because it's going to be tricky because I'm not going to be able to get in with my hand, but there's always a way around it, do you know what I mean? Always a way around it. We'll find the way around it. I'll show you the way around it. And it's as simple as that. But, to regards, on my TikTok channel, I had a few numpties going on about why we're using silicone to stick that up. Silicone 785 is the best adhesive you will ever use. Trust me. I'm like a doctor with silicone. Do you know what I mean? So, people who think that it's not an adhesive, they are totally wrong. Totally wrong. Once you stick something on a wall with that, you cannot pull it off. It pulls the plasterboard off. So trust me, when you stick frames on for shower cubicles, you pull the tiles off. That's how strong it is. Bish bash boss, remember. Only top tips from MJC kitchens and bathrooms. Now that is how neat you should be taking boards up. Do you know what I mean? There's no reason for them to be offed and scuffed and smashed. Beautiful. Straight clean line. Lovely. You can get them popped straight up. They'll come straight up now. And then they'll go straight back down and screw back down. Now this tray is a non-slip tray so it's got like a texture on it. Now once you get it dirty, it's a bit of a nightmare to keep clean. This won't have a film on it already. So what you want to do is use the plastic here, cut round the edge like that. And then what we can do is, after we finish, we can drop that into there, use some tape, tape it down. Tape it down. And uh, use it as a cover. Yeah, it's all right. It doesn't matter. Listen. You can start this, this kid. Old age plumber is this kid. Do you know what I mean? He's forgot more than most of you lads. I'll ever know, won't you? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know the electric must be broken lock. Yeah. How much room does he want? I want that piece. I know you do. How much room does he want? Uh, all my suitcases and everything are up there above. He, he won't need that much. He he he'll, he'll move it anyway. Does he want no? Let me just stop my video. So as you can see, the texture on these and when it when it, you get um, stuff in them, they're a bit of a nightmare to clean, you know what I mean? So especially when you shower in it. <laughs> Now these instructions, they say use sand and cement. I don't use sand and cement. I use rapid set, bad gear, tile adhesive, flexible. 
I find it's better than uh, sand and cement and it goes off in 20 minutes so I can walk on it straight away basically these these instructions are antique do you know what I mean they're antique it's been sand and cement for over 27 years I've been fitting these shower trays and I've never had one issue with any of them we stopped using sand and cement at least 20 years ago um, and sometimes if, if the floor surface is flat you could use silicone to stick it down but chances are it's not going to be flat or you could use foam or um, I, I always tend to use um, rapid set which I'm going to show you with rapid set you have to be confident that you've got it right because once you stick it down you will not get it up without smashing the tray do you know what I mean but I'm fitting for it to last forever the only time this tray is coming out is when it's coming out to get changed so uh, we put them in we fit everything to last we don't plan on it coming out um, it, there's no reason for it to come out and it should be banging and it'll be a nice form bit you have to do Splat! this is a resin tray it's weighs a ton and I mean a ton cut the rest of the plastic off make sure these trays are resin, but it, obviously if you catch it with your knife, you're going to mark it out of you, so watch that. What you must do is take all this off, because if it's cracked, you're not going to know. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes you can have airline cracks. We had uh, on a... Uh, on a certain company they had a forklift truck driver who wasn't very good and he kept cracking all the trays and they used to have airline cracks down the centre of them and you can't tell so normally what I do is rub my hands on it and dust will go in it and you'll see the crack with this with the coating yeah Have a good look. Scout because if it's cracked, airline crack. The only time these will crack is if the board. And you'll see it. You'll see a light, slight crack. And that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Tell you what, I forgot how strong I was. You know what I mean? Look at them, look at them guns. Let's get this masking tape off here. You won't believe the weight of this tray. You will not believe the weight of this tray. Right, that, is, that tray is perfect. So now, that tray is perfect, so now I've checked it. What I'll do is we'll carry that up, put it in place, and then we'll do the waste. It's going to take some lifting out of them stairs. Um, and then what we'll do is after we've installed it, we'll double check it again to make sure there's no cracks. Once we put his base down and his base solid, that tray solid, everything's gonna be solid.
Always watch your back when he's because believe me, watch out Ailey, really. watch out where my camera. The only place in the world he has to stand and he stands in front of my camera. What help you then? I don't need help, can you see that? Look at that now, that is a perfect fit, that is why. You get MJC kitchen in the bathroom. What can I get? It's like it's been made for it. Do you know what I mean? It's just like it's been made for it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I do need help, me, but not when I'm trying to do my masterpiece, you know what I mean? So we draw a line. That's where the trap is. Now I'm going to lift the tray up. We're going to do the waist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the tray, put it there. We're going to put a level on it first and see which angles we need to tweak. Well, see, it looks quite flat there, doesn't it? it? Looks quite flat. So the first thing is we put a level on it. Either side. So that, I'm telling you, that is, that is, oh no, bang on mundo. That is bang on mundo. So can you see how that... It won't lift in slightly at that corner. But chances are, can you see this floor here? This floor is on a slope. Can you see that? It's on a slope. So that is only because we've got the floor up there. So when we get the floor up there, this tray's gonna want lifting. This tray's gonna want lifting at least 10 mil in this corner. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line there, we're gonna jack a board it and then we're gonna Pack it up at this side, boom, straight down on that side, stick the tray in, tray's covered all over solid, and it will never move. It's a shame about that. But this floor is actually very out of level, as you can see. That is no good for the shower tray. The shower tray has to be bang centre of the bubble which in turn look at the gap look at the gap 10 mil because my eyes like a tape measure you know what i mean it's just like a tape measure i don't even know how they get me for the money i don't i just don't but so we know let's plan now we're gonna lift this up now right stack it there make sure you pull it out otherwise it's gonna fall on you so now we're going to cut this joist out. Cut that out. Cut that out with me circulating, and then we're going to have to cut this section out here as well for the trap. Otherwise, the nut won't go. And then we know exactly in line. I told you, didn't I? What did I say? I said that pipe would be in my way. So it's a good job I rerouted all the plumbing. You can see that pipe. That's exactly where we want to be going. X marks the spot. So we'll get the drill up. Get the drill up. Drill through there. We're going to come up on a slant. Boom. Straight into the trap. That's how you have trouble free plumbing. Even though... We're not going to be able to get in to get his hand there. Um, I'm going to do it all pre-drilled and pre-fixed. And then the trap will just pop its head up here. Because I work to the millimetre. It'll pop its head up here. When I put this tray down, we'll just be able to screw it up. Easy as that. We'll put some buttons on there. Stop it from pushing down when I'm screwing it up. And that's it. But if you're ever putting a trap on the floor like this... And you're witty because you're never going to be able to get to this trap again. Now I've never had to get to a trap before in my life, but if the if it did happen, it would be very easy. You would never take the tiles up. You would just go underneath. You can measure off the kitchen wall, 800, 650 centre. From that point, that's 800. Uh, no, six, uh, 816. Yeah. So 80, 800 off that wall. 
and then you just cut the boards out with a multi tool underneath the ceiling that would drop then you would get into the trap you change it put the board back up a bit of decorators core a bit of paint you would never ever know it's been touched so do not panic about putting them on the floor if you've done it right plumbed it right you should never have a problem with it it should be beautiful unless someone drops a load of crap down it or something like that and they try rod it and uh, but that it, you've always got possibilities so this is the traps what I like to use can you see why I like to use them because the depth from there to there is beautiful so if you are if you was to get it underneath can you see how much room you've got before that knuckle hits that top it's just, it, it's just like a work of art so we're going to use a 10 mil board we'll lift it up 10 mil so that's about 20 mil so what we're going to do is we have it like this because um, I was going to go a third down but it's too far so it's okay we always change plan you know what I mean because that's how we do it that's how we roll so that part there needs to be gone always cut a little bit extra out because if you ever need to get in up from underneath you got, you are going to have to get your hand around it do you know what I mean so you got to remember that so now that when I cut that that will tweak down and that pipe which we're going to knock through the wall there is going to come up in one piece go straight into there and then all we'll do is we'll just lift it onto a strap like that and it's going to be beautiful as simple as that don't make stuff complicated boom pipe fitting pipe fitting ching 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 one piece and that's it